Oh, okay. I think I did it perfectly for me. Look at this. Agüita. <laughs> Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water, and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you got to figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Welcome to my creative carnivore kitchen. Well, no, this is not my kitchen. That means this is a special. So I'm in bird eye right now and I'm taking care of this super cute dog, Yoshi. She is so nice. She's a mix of um, German Shepherd and Labrador. And uh, I'll stay here in Verdi in this house. It's in California. Verdi is California and Nevada. I'm in the, on the Californian side. And I'm staying here for 18 days. And it's so beautiful. I'm doing nice hikes with Yoshi. It's so beautiful here. And I get a lot of rest. I really, oh no, upstairs neighbors. <sighs> Finally, that's like killing me at home. So I really get some good rest, some quietness. I really feel I can heal here. It's so nice. So I'm taking it super easy here. I'm really just here for Yoshi, for the dog, of course, that's my job. And just to read, read, read and rest. But yes, of course, I also want to make some episodes and I'm here 18 days. So no stress at all. I can make some episodes. And today actually a super easy one. And yes, they have a barbecue here. They have a propane barbecue. I don't fucking care about propane barbecue. They fucking suck. Then I rather get my torch out. That's much more fun. But they also have a barbecue that's ready for wood and charcoal and the good stuff, the flavorful stuff that, yes. So we are barbecuing, of course. Today, I wanna make actually something super easy. So when I was in Carmel and Monterey, I brought home a lot of fish, fresh, whole fish. And I brought home this, um, Bonito tuna and yes, it's still packed up. It's frozen. Well, I um, Defrosted it. I got it of course you see and I froze it again because I Like tuna the best raw. Yeah, great video here. Just eating raw tuna. There's no cooking There's no nothing involved in it. No, no, no. And hey, I want a barbecue. I want the flavor so I want to actually Put this tuna frozen well yeah I take it out of the plastic but I want to put it frozen on the barbecue I want to get that um, smoky flavor that charcoal that wood flavor in there but so um, yeah so I want to so I want to um, grill it a bit on the outside and hopefully on the inside it will still be raw maybe even a bit frozen that is my goal so I'm super excited.
bonita tuna, still frozen. I have this fish thing here and I'm just gonna put it on like this because I can't close it. So it won't stick to the roast in there. So let's just... Ooh, maybe we can even... Yeah, that works. So I'm just gonna put it on here. I'm gonna close it. I don't know yet for how long. Okay, it's about five minutes. Ooh, we have some smoke. And good, still frozen. Ooh, yeah, you see it's... Uh, I don't wanna destroy the... Maybe I should have put on some fat. Ooh, look, nice. Okay, note for myself, next time I should grease up this thing a bit because I don't want to destroy the, the skin too much. So. It's still frozen, still very, yeah, I can't even open it, still very frozen. So we're gonna leave it like that for a while now. So it's been almost 13 minutes and it's starting to, ooh, yeah, thawing out in here. It's still frozen. done for me because remember I I still want my frozen in the middle at least raw so I also want to add some more wood chips to get more flavor Now I even get some flames. Turn it over one more time. So. Okay, it's been 16 minutes and I want to take it out. Look how beautiful. Ah, nice. I'm excited. Oh, okay. I think I did it perfectly for me. Look at this. But it was really hard to fillet because the knives weren't sharp at all. Yeah, we just sharpened a whole bunch of knives here. So, but. I used it they weren't sharp and it's still frozen in the middle still frozen so I have some sea salt so, look here nice color see it ah, sea salt so let's try this so we have this is nicely seared and here it's it's totally done the tuna here raw and still even well it's thawing out now a little bit frozen Aguita. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. That was a good idea. Oh, I like this. in general when you have everything you have a um, seared outside you have some well done you have some medium you have some rare you have some raw this is so cool 
this is really really good of course you can leave it in much longer and make it all the way down but um i wouldn't especially not with tuna i don't really like cooked tuna as so i like yeah that's uh, uh here it's a bit cooked but here much more is rare and raw so that's perfect and yeah so the head and the fins and the, the tail here i'll probably then put back on the barbecue and the fire to get it all the way done the fins to get it like nice and crispy this year is it's so easy so fast and such a great idea i'm telling you this is awesome Servus. Kent. Thanks for watching! If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram at Carnivore Girl. See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy, the next level cooking show.